Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode we pretty much beat the first three people of the Elite Four, Will, Koga and Bruno. And next is number four, Karen, the Dark type trainer. Doesn't really look like one, to be honest. Doesn't really look evil enough to really uh, fill the role very well. But whatever, she will lead off with an Umbreon and Pinsir has taken on at least one Umbreon before, and he did pretty well against that one, so let's see how he does against this one. Yeah, that's good enough. Ah, damn it. Should have seen that coming, because really spreading status is all Umbreon ever seems to do. Okay, Pinsir. Lucky break. Fingers crossed. Ah, crap. Well, payback. Well, that's not gonna do that much. I mean, I didn't deal any damage to him, so... Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, that's decent. There we go, that's what I want to see, Pinsir. Alright, bam, one down, four to go. And this is another one of those Elite Four members whose teams I just really don't like. Sub uh, that is a terrible move. I No one should ever use submission on anything. Anyway, here comes Murkrow. It's a dark type, but it's pretty weak. And I don't see it having anything that can touch Steelix whatsoever, so <laughs> let's just get Steelix in here, get some Thunder Fangs going. Faint attack. If that's the best thing it can do to Steelix, then that's just downright pathetic. I mean, look at that. No way in hell can that Murkrow ever beat me. Anyway, Thunder Fang, that is actually pretty disappointing. It's a Murkrow. If memory serves me right, Murkrow is only slightly bulkier than freaking Pidgey. That's pretty disappointing, Steelix. You've been doing so kick-ass so far, and then you get this. I mean, sure, it's still a two-hit KO, but that should have been like a one-hit KO. I mean, it's a Murkrow. Oh boy, here comes Houndoom, her big gun. Uh, well... Don't really want to use Slowking, because he's weak to dark, so for Alligator. I wonder what, uh... I guess it probably has Dark Pulse. So, oh, Nasty Pulse, okay. Sure, just let me get a free attack in. She's awfully confident that her Houndoom can survive a waterfall. We'll see about that. Just, it probably will, actually. I mean, it is quite a few levels higher. Oh, barely. Although, it does have plus two special attack now, so that could hurt. And I'm pretty sure Houndoom outspeeds... What? Okay then, well sure, let's go with it. I don't get why she has a Vile Plume. Dark type Elite Four member using a Grass and Poison type. What the hell? And I mean, she's not even using every single Dark type there is. I mean, sure, back in the original Gold and Silver there were only six Dark type Pokemon. But still, she's not using a Sneasel. She's not using a Tyranitar. I mean, Tyra we're at the freaking Elite Four. You'd think they'd allow me to see a Tyranitar by now. Oh yeah, Pedal Dance makes contact, so it works on Flame Body. And then Fire Blast, and that should seal the deal on Vileplume. I mean, Magmar's pretty powerful. Nice. So long, incredibly out of place Vileplume. Up next we have... For alligator level 42, that's also nice. Next we have Gengar, a ghost and poison type. Not really sure why she's using that either. It's also not a dark type, but at least it makes more sense than freaking Vile Plume does. Anyway, let's get Feraligator in there because he's still remarkably fresh. And a single crunch is probably going to get rid of this thing. Spite. Yeah, because that move totally works if I haven't even attacked yet. Man, the AI is being incredibly stupid again today. Ooh, very nice. I don't know if that mattered or not. I mean, it's a Gengar. It's incredibly frail. But who knows? Okay, Houndoom again. A plus two Dark Pulse could have actually put a serious dent in for Alligator, but I don't see it beating me anymore right now. Dark Pulse, uh, barring perhaps like a lucky flinch, because it does have a 30% flinch rate. Nice. See, a plus two Dark Pulse would have one hit KO'd me. But no, switching into Vile Plume is definitely the best course of action right there. Anyway, down goes Houndoom, and that's all for Karen. 
probably the easiest one so far, actually, all things considering. I mean, well, Koga didn't really give me much trouble either, it's just the fact that he kept using Minimize and Double Team was annoying. Definitely not as difficult as Bruno, though. I mean, that Hitmon lead just wrecked me something fierce. I know he gotta patch some people up, I think Magmar got paralyzed and someone else got a little bit of damage for Alligator. Because we're gonna need everyone if we're gonna take on the champion of the Elite Four, and that would be the one, the only, Lance, our friend from Mahogany Town who kicked Team Rocket's ass with me. And who I now have to fight. And I'm not looking forward to that because he's pretty hard. Also, he has a pretty sizable level advantage over my entire team. So, this is going to be challenging. There will probably be a lot of healing involved. Anyway, look at all those tacky golden Dratini statues. Damn, Lance, you have no sense of decorating. Anyway, let's go. We beat dragons before in Claire's gym. We can probably beat them again. I hope. Champion Lance, let's go. Leading off with Gyarados. Crap, I thought he was going to lead off with Aerodactyl or Charizard. This is not a good matchup. Like, at all. Well, I'm hoping his Gyarados doesn't have any water moves, because if so, Steelix can probably beat it. Dragon Pulse. Ah, uh, that's not going to do much. Because Gyarados' special attack is trash. Alright. Thunderfang time, water. Oh, of course it has waterfall. It is a physical attack though, so Steelix might be able to take it pretty well. Okay, that's not really well enough. Really hoping this paralyzes or gets a critical hit. If not, I'm probably in trouble. It's still a solid 2 hit KO, but I'm not gonna live another waterfall. Probably. Fingers crossed, everyone. Lend me your strength. Or your hope, or whatever they do in Dragon Ball Z. Damn it! Whoop! Shit's already hitting the fan, that's not good. Uh, who am I gonna send out against this? Bloody hell, uh... Lugia. Fuck it. Hoping an arrow blast is enough to take it out right here. I mean, who knows, might be it if it gets a critical hit. Because Lugia isn't all that powerful, to be honest. Damn it! it's moments like these where I wish I played hard gold instead of soul silver. Although the Ice Fang's not going to do that much. No freezing either, so that's nice, and he's going to heal up now. Which means I can heal up as well. Do I want to revive Steelix? That's a bit of a bummer because all the healing stuff goes on on the bottom screen, which I didn't record, so I honestly have no clue what I'm doing. As far as, like, healing goes and stuff. All I know is I didn't attack in that turn. Extra sensory, let's get some flinching going on. Just some solid damage, hopefully a flinch. Oh, critical hit. Where was that critical hit when I needed it earlier? Oh, well, another ice fight. I, I can take that. And then another arrow blast. That, sh that has to be running low on PP right about now. Alright, come on, come on, come on, take it out. Damn it. Lugia, why are you so weak? Well, one more attack, I should... Yeah, I, t I can take another Ice Fang, and then this should wrap up the Gyarados. Finally. Damn, that thing was way harder than Claire's Gyarados, even though it's only a couple levels higher. Alright, one down, five to go. And I'm one down, one almost down, and four to go. In comes Aerodactyl. Not a Dragon type. Then again, neither is Gyarados, and then again, there are only four Dragon types in like the first two generation games. Alright, Aerodactyl, and I did fully revive Steelix, it seems, with a max revive. Aerial Ace! No Fire Fang, no Earthquake, no Aqua Tail, no nothing? Uh, sure, I'll take it. If that's the best he can do. Also, why the hell am I using Thunder Fang? Iron Tail is also super effective. What the hell was I thinking? Definitely Iron Tail, there we go. A minor uh, lapse of judgment there, my apologies. Even the best Pokemon players make mistakes sometimes. Anyway, bam, Steelix wrecks Aerodactyl. Steelix has... Uh, I'd say Steelix probably has the best kill count so far out of my entire team in the Pokemon League. That's not bad. Anyway, in comes Charizard. 
So, Slowking! Time for another chance to shine. Because, I mean, honestly, what's a Charizard gonna do to a Slowking? Maybe Air Slash or something. Oh, shit. Oh, that's bad. That could be very, very... Oh, come on. Come on! Ah, oh, Slowking, are you freaking kidding me again with this? How many times has Slowking been defeated by something he should have been able to beat no problem? Okay, another Shadow Claw then. It's not gonna do much to Feraligator though. It's a good thing I carry two water types. Because there are a lot of things that are weak to water. So it never hurts to have a lot of water attacks to be honest. Air Slash, okay, no flinch please, that would be bad. Because another Waterfall can definitely take him out. And I am within Torrent range now, making Feraligator even more powerful. So, you can kiss your Charizard goodbye, Lance. Three down, three to go. Although the three he has left are probably the toughest out of all his Pokémon. Because they are three freaking Dragonites. And here comes the first one. I kinda need to heal up Feraligator because his Ice Fang is pretty much my best option here. So, Pinsir. Pinsir is pretty much expendable in this battle. I don't expect Pinsir to do anything because Dragonite resists, Bug resists fighting. Pretty much resists all of Pinsir's good moves, so... He's basically healing fodder. Sorry, Pinsir. But he had a good run. Thunder Wave, okay. You have a Pokémon as powerful as a Dragonite and you go around paralyzing people. Whatever floats your boat, Lance, whatever floats your boat. And then Thunder. Okay, no physical moves, even though Dragonite's physical attack is far better. Holy crap. I spoke too soon, I suppose. Let's go for a Seismic Toss then. That's probably the best way I can get some damage in with Pinsir. Yeah, that's about what I expected. And then Dragon Rush. Oh boy. Well, actually, out of what I've seen so far, he can't really do much to Steelix. Steelix is immune to Thunder and Thunder Wave, Dragon Rush doesn't do much. And if he had a fire move, he would have used it by now. Damn it! Oh no, no, oh there we go, missing. Awesome. Iron Tail! Let's go! Defense drop would also be pretty dandy. There we go, Steelix! Man, I love this thing. Yes, keep missing. And I'm getting surprisingly lucky with Iron Tail's shaky accuracy. Ah, oh, damn it, now he's gonna heal up. Yep. Well, rather he'd use it now than he than that he uses it on his strongest Dragonite. Alright, another Iron Tail. See how much it does after that defense drop. Uh, it's like a 3... 3-8 three KO, maybe? Can take a couple more of those. Iron Tail again. Come on, another defense drop, please. Oh, there we go. That did way more than the first, and another defense drop. He is definitely going down now. Steelix claims another victim. Thunderfang would have probably, yeah, that might do the trick right here. Damn, Steelix. He's on a roll. I need to get this bad boy healed up and ready for the next Dragonite. So, let's switch him out, bring someone else in. Let's see, Magmar is also going to be pretty useless here because Dragon resists fire, so he's also kind of healing fodder. Ah, Pinsir and Magmar. I don't know why, but it always seems like those two are being shafted when it comes to, like, healing fodder. Anyway, patch Steelix up, because I pretty much need him outrage, oh shit. Well, that could also be good. Oh, this is his strongest Dragonite, by the way. Guess he's not saving this one for last. But yeah, he's locked into Outrage now, which means I can bring Steelix in pretty damn safe. Wait, I didn't heal up Steelix? Oh, I can just heal him up now. Oh, I must have healed up Lugia then. Because Lugia had taken kind of a beating against Gyarados earlier, so I kind of needed to heal him up as well. Alright, Steelix is ready for action again. Let's see how much this does. This is pretty much the most powerful move he has on his entire team. Yeah laughable, and he confuses himself, so Steelix is all set for domination. Unless he he has like a fire move or a water move. That could be bad. Anyway, Iron Tail, no defense drops. Ah, sure, Steelix, go ahead, we have plenty of time. Especially if he keeps doing this. Poor Lance. Oh, of course, he has the Citrus Berry. 
Ah, they all do. You'd think he'd have given this one, that one berry that heals confusion. That would be way more useful for this one. But nope, Citrus Berry, it needs to be. Damn, he is not getting any luck. I'm just glad it's happening to the AI for once instead of happening to me. Oh, come on, Steelix, one more. Aw, oh, he has another one? How many of these things does he even have? Damn it, Lance, you cheating bastard. Okay, maybe this paralyzes him. Or not. Okay, back to... Oh, crap. I was fearing this. Come on, Steelix. I don't think he's gonna survive that. Damn it. And he was doing so well, too. Uh, who do I... Oh, yeah, Feraligator. He was kind of my main guy for this, and I haven't even tried him against a Dragonite yet. Safeguard. Uh, so I can't freeze you, big whoop. Ice Fang is that... It's sure as hell not gonna one hit KO him, but to hit KO should be feasible. Yeah, that's good enough. Hyper Beam. Damn. Just hoping I can take this. Also, why the hell Hyper Beam and why not Giga Impact? Holy... Aw, oh, come on! Are you effing kidding me? Okay, Lugia then. He's recharging now, so it should be a good opportunity to land a nice little Dragon Pulse. I don't know if that's gonna KO him though. Holy crap, Lugia. That is pretty pathetic. At least he doesn't have any more healing items, it seems, so another Dragonite down. Uh, who do I... Yeah, all, all I have left at this point is Lugia. And all he has left is one more Dragonite. Which I'm hoping does not have an electric move or an ice move, because that could ruin my fun pretty quickly. Thunder wave, oh boy. Well, could be worse. Could have been thunder. I'm just hoping I'm gonna get a little lucky here, finally. Get another attack in. Although, I just know that's not gonna do much. Yeah, that's like a four-hit KO at best. Dragon Rush. Well, maybe we can still walk away victorious here. It's definitely going to be close. Actually, one more should do it. I never give up. No matter what, he must be the same. Yes, this is a battle to the death. Ah, oh, damn it, he has a... That's like the fourth one. Really hoping that's the final one. Anyway, Arrow Blast, because why the hell not? Maybe get a critical hit. Would be nice. Actually, that did about as much as Dragon Pulse did. And then Dragon Rush, no flinch, please. Holy crap, that did a lot. I can only take two more of those at best. He can only take two more Dragon Pulses at best. So we're going to be cutting it ridiculously close here. Hyper Beam. I don't think that's going to do more than Dragon Rush, though. And he just definitely ruined himself. That recharge turn... I can't fathom why they didn't give his Dragonite's Giga Impact. I mean, that's pretty much the physical Hyper Beam, and Dragonite is a physical attacker mainly. But whatever. We are the champion, my friends. Awesome. Become truly powerful. Pokemon responds to my strong and upstanding nature. Although not Firo, though, because he's rotting away in the box as we speak. And then it's... Oh, it's the Radio Tower chick. And Professor Oak, if he wasn't so slow. He's an old man, give him a break. Okay, just love your Pokemon made this happen, they were outstanding. Except for Sloking. Sloking fucking sucked. Anyway, the brand new champion. And Lance is like, ah, screw these people, let's get out of here. That's rude, man, I want my interview. How am I gonna get famous without my interview? Damn, Lance. He's an asshole. Anyway, the Hall of Champions. At long last, it's been 46 episodes, but we're finally here. Rise of a League Champion. The best trainer in the whole damn world. Alright, sign him up in the computer. Let's get the show on the road so we can go home. With that weird healing machine-esque device. For Alligator, the main man. Level 43, met at New Bark Town. We go way back. Up next, we have Lugia, the late entry. Level 46, met at Whirl Islands, that ridiculous maze. Don't want to go back there again, don't think I need to, though. Slowking! 
who has pretty much been dead weight for ages now. Met at Slowpoke, well, level 41. And then we have Steelix, the MVP of the Pokemon League, I would say. He did amazing in this, surprisingly. Do not regret going for Steelix. And then Magmar, the kind of the expendable one, I guess. He didn't do anything against Lance, neither did Pinsir, but he's also there and I'm glad he is. Met at National Park. Alright, we're the champion. We did it, but the LP isn't quite over yet because we now have a whole new region to go through. So stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.